Oh man, it's all full of oxygen. No, that's the worst thing that could be in here. Oh. Okay, what do I do? If I drop, if I if I drop it, it's gonna go down here, right? If it goes down here, it's gonna it's gonna destroy the sanctity of this area here, right? Because it's like no natural gas, there's no polluted oxygen, so all this is going to exist down here, which means that this that my petroleum, my polymer press is going to overheat for sure. The polymer press overheats. Ah, uh, maybe it's okay. Let's turn off the polymer press. Nothing else is really generating that much actual heat. Oxygen, man. It's 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 ruining my day. I, oxygen. It's ruining my day. I say we just punch a hole here. And then we'll put insulated pipe in it. Or insulated uh, door. So we'll just do like this and then we'll put a door there. Yeah. What we'll do is we'll put a sensor. To keep that in check. Those, the, these are set up for uh, natural gas. Those are natural gas containers. Okay, so here's here's the plan. Okay, we're gonna put a uh, we'll put a door. There. First off, you shut the fuck up. <laughs> Quit it. Quit it. What we'll do is we're gonna put an insulated door here, tiny insulated door, and it is going to stay open whenever it senses. Um, hydrogen. Oh, sorry. Intellisense is hydrogen. So we'll need a knock gate here, too. Please, thank you. Thank you for turning that on. Jesus Christ. So we'll need a knock gate and a sensor. So, let's see. Uh, gas helmet sensor. Boom. And then... A knock gate. Oh, I, I don't think I can really put it here, actually, because it would... Yeah, it doesn't have to be right there. Could be up up a little bit. Yeah, like it's there, and then a knock gate. Something is still yellow alert. I don't know what I I can't remember what I put yellow alert. <laughs> there we go. Slowly we'll get this carbon dioxide to pump out. And hope I'm hoping that what happens is this hydrogen kind of falls down, right? It kind of goes down and in, 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 into this area here, and then fills this up and pushes all this down. There's plenty of there's no pressure down here, so this gas should be slowly seeping out down into here. So we should see a pool of carbon dioxide coming, which is probably this right here. As long as there's not a water lock. Oh, it's it's only water because of that thing. Yep. Okay, so like this oxygen, not hydrogen. Huh? Uh, oxygen. There, so the gate is open. Oh wait, no power wire connect. Oh, that's fine. We can just, it's not really a problem, but we'll just get rid of that thing. Mm, yeah. Can they reach that one? Yeah, they can. From the top. So the liquid is going to be a bit of an issue, but that's going to go down here and build up anyways, so... I think it's fine. The slicksters can, can they, they can manage their own business down here. There. So it's automated open. <sighs> this is not ideal, but they will it will eventually push all this down. I made these things out of iron. <laughs> oh, actually, just that one. This one's made of iron. I wonder if I have enough gold amalgam to replace it. I do. Yeah, let's uh, let's get rid of that. Matter of fact, let's uh, we don't use this very often. Let's see, iron ore. I can't really tell the colors actually. Let's see, steel. Okay, so steel is like a gray color. So it looks like just the one. Okay, cool. So it's just this one. So maybe it's not that big of a deal, but it will be eventually. So we should still eject all this oxygen and get it out of here. So we'll go ahead and get rid of this. Nice. And then we'll make a replace with another one. I gotta figure out what the alarm is. I keep forgetting that it's running. It's just constant. Just a constant whoop, whoop, whoop. Not even paying attention to it. Oh, great. Can't see it. 
Damn it. Okay, now, yellow alert. Sleeweed grain. Oh. Oh, they cleaned it up. Great. Uh, nine. What else? Sleeweed grain. Mm, nine. Which other thing here? Oh, that one. Okay. Nine. Trollware! Please kindly include oxygen. Sign all of us. I am doing my best to include it where it's not going to be a menace. But right now, it is, it is a, it's a menace. Uh, Trollware, thank you so much for 37 months. I appreciate it. Let me see. This is, uh, you know what? The sleet wheat is 35 degrees. Maybe cleaning some of that up actually helped a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah, down here it's actually, it's just irrigation. It's just irrigation because of that, yeah. Um, but that will eventually disappear. So this, this was also not a great place for it, um, ultimately as well. Well, I mean, it's better, but still. The things you did to ice bomb oh, shit. Like we that's why we can't have nice nice oxygen. No, you get mean oxygen. <laughs> mean mean oxygen. Another blueprint already? More dirt. Hey, I actually need that. This nonsense. What is it putting out? 13 watts! 15 watts! Oh man! I can run like a huge bulb and a half off that. Awesome. <laughs> Natural gas though, look at that. Sexy, sexy, sexy. That's what I like to see. This is gonna eject, it's gonna be good. And then once it, once it senses hydrogen, it's gonna shut that door. And then we're good. Then we're good. And then actually, I should probably have to shut this door too. <laughs> you know what? Wait, hold on a second, can I do that? Is there a trunk that goes through? Oh, there's a trunk that goes through. Oh, no, there's not. Hold on, give it a second. I, I think there's a trunk that goes through there. This, this is, uh, this is easy. F oh, is that really an easy fix? Because we have to go up and over. That's gonna be a pain in the ass fix. Oh, there's a trunk that goes through there. Well, we could just run that somewhere else, so. Into space yet? <laughs> yes, actually I have. Uh, it didn't work out and we decided to go our separate ways. It's kind of what happened. Let's see if we can't expedite this process some. Okay, put it somewhere. Open up that gap a little bit and get some more down here. Kind of, uh, which there's more pressure up here, right? 2000, this is uh, 1700, but this is still like empty. Yeah, this is basically empty. So th it will continue to empty out there. Good, the carbon dioxide is pushed down. Natural gas is seeping in, which is hilarious. It shouldn't be, that should not be winning the fight by any stretch. Hey, Nestorados, what up? What's happening? We will eventually get this thing packed full of hydrogen soon. There's a, there's other ways we could do it. We could just put, pump a vent in here and just let it just, just do it that way. But I'm trying to do this a natural way. Natural meaning, you know, some automation. Whoa! Are we using that much water? Or are we just in a dormant period? Double dormant? No, this one, uh... Wow. Well, these guys are made out of gold, so they're not gonna melt on anytime soon. Wow, we're just creating more problems. More problems. One of these doors, they're both, oh, they're not locked. Hmm, okay. We still have a lot of water, but that's, uh, that's a little shocking to see. Just chilling, taking a break from Diablo 3. Is there a new season? Oh, the, oh that water's probably those six tanks. Oh, Wolvie! Wolvie, hot damn, sir. Thank you so much. Oh, you got, oh, you got a whole crew in there. Awesome. Decepticon. Oh, shit, you like all the Decepticons. <laughs> <laughs> Wolfie, thank you! Thank you for hooking up those folks. Gotta drop subs on people. People appreciate it. Uh, the combined heat might be keeping this from phases of the water. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. I'm hoping that's not the case. Because it, yeah, yeah, it's hard to tell if it's even getting colder, you know? Boom, baby! As long as they're not over, you know? Oh, Nesterado. Oh, you got Nesterados. Thank you, Wolvie. Hooking them up. Ah. Oh.
So we've set out, you know, it's, it's, it's funny. We, you know, we, when we, we set out this week to update or to get these guys better food choices. We've, we've, we've embarked on three missions, sleet wheat, pinch of pepper nuts and bristle blossoms. None of them have been fully successful. Bristle blossoms, I would say mix, right? Irrigation is the only issue here, right? We could pump it with some more water later, you know, maybe if this uh, if it continues to be an issue. Uh, the biggest problem is we have to watch this and we have to make sure that this is not going to, you know, overheat. Um, so I would call that like, let me just look at it right here. Mm, I would say it's about a 70% success rate. So I think a C minus, but a C still passing. Right? And not a D. Uh, over here, our pinch of pepper nut. This is, uh, I mean, this is about, uh, it's like a 60% or so. So I think 65%. That's like a D. D and a half. Uh, and then over here with the sleet wheat, we have one out of 22. 20. It's 5%. What does the first icon mean? Which one is that? Um, which icon? Right here? This guy here? Oh, damn it! Ah. <laughs> no, it's fine. Okay. There's a lot of water here, you're right. Maybe we should maybe we should put this thing back in the system somehow and get it to Oh, we could. Oh, we could actually. Oh no, we can't get it back over there. We don't have a we don't have a path to get it back over here. Yes, we do. Where does that go? Where does that go? Where'd that go? Oh yeah. Ooh. We could just right there. That would get it started. Then we could do that there. We can snip a snip here. Snip here. This will get it back into the system. Get back into the loop. Clean water will just go straight through. That's fine. Clean water goes straight through. This water is going over here to feed that. That's not really an issue right now. It'll take turns. One, two. One, two. Damn it. Why does it gotta do that? Doesn't that come out of? It does. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> um. What is this thing doing over here, anyways? Let's just cut this. Soda machines will be offline for a minute. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's the input. Ah, oh, dang it! <laughs> I'm snipping all these wires. I'm not even looking at what I'm doing. Start over. Start over. Start over. Start over. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, output. Output here. This is where I need to connect it. Right here, this little bridge. There. And that goes to what? A fucking nightmare of tubes. This goes down to what? That. Which we could probably disconnect for now. God, this is this is dangerous to do at the end of the day because I'm not gonna remember what I did to get here. There we go. This is just to empty this out. There it goes. Good. We'll do it faster. And this will go and it'll feed it back into this, back into the system here. Don't forget to reconnect the output from the tanks that you snipped earlier. Oh god, I don't remember that. <laughs> what, are you talking about this right here? <laughs> oh wait, are you talking about over here? I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. Okay, so we'll check on that in a second. We'll let that empty out. We have plenty of water in the system. We have water coming out that's getting fed into the pinch of pepper nuts, so that's, that's freaking out pretty well. Let's disconnect, let's deconstruct this. It's probably sweeping up my damn... Sweeping up my nuts. <sighs> Pinch of pepper nuts ready to go. Goddamn Antares. 
You and your jokes! Okay, that's gonna take forever, but that's a good amount of- Oh, wrong element sensor. Whoops. Uh, I forgot to... Uh, snip that input there. There we go. Oh, God. Piping. Ugh! So I still have sticky notes here from ages ago. I have, uh, power. Expand downward, rewire everything, coal, hydro, natural petrol. We did that. Good. That was a long time ago. We did that. Um, oxygen generation, uh, cold room, thermostat. We did all that too. Food. Sleet wheat, pepper nuts, and blossoms. Separate roof, separate farms. That's what I have written down. I would say... Good. You need a piping stream. Yeah, set it before you start a stupid pipes right. Did you really? Oh snap, daddy guess. Oh snap, what? Oh, because <laughs> because of this thing. Uh, because this thing's empty. And I have uh, automation on it that I set up a long time ago. Okay, we don't need that anymore. That was a fun joke. <sighs> Using sticky notes for banished? Oh yeah. How do you keep track of this stuff? I can make sticky notes in game. I keep forgetting about that. I had a mod for it. I don't. Where is it at? Furniture, maybe. Maybe not. I don't even know what it looks like. Not automation. Shipping utilities. Stations. What is it listed as? Not furniture. Oh, maybe I don't have it installed anymore. Is it? Is, do you see it? I don't see it. Yeah. Thank you for using and uh, listening to your mods. You're using in your YouTube videos. Yeah, no problem. I. Yeah, I, 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 I just some people are asking for it, so it just makes perfect sense to just throw that in there. So the dupes are not, uh, they're not utilizing the train about as often. Excuse me, as I would like them to. Which is uh, holding up my uh, my pitch pepper nut production. It's not getting the liquid that they need. There's liquid exchanging here. It's filling this guy up. This thing's probably showing that it's full. Yeah, so phosphorite, water, water's building up. Hey, what up, kid? In 2020. In 2020. It turns out the little white. Oh, yeah? Ah. <clears throat> Come here. And, but in Godzilla Returns, he his radiation makes his nose glow. Oh, what year was radi was uh, Godzilla Returns? Um, 2025. 2025? Mm -hmm. That hasn't happened yet. But I saw that those parts and destroy all monsters. Oh, destroy all monsters. Come here, come here, come here. Destroy all monsters. So he, he, he kind of, um, yeah, I, I tell you guys that, that he tends to like, rem whenever he's into something, like he'll learn everything about it. Stop touching that. So loud. <laughs> he'll tend to stop it. <laughs> He tends to like go like he'll go hard and he'll, he'll learn everything he can about it. Um, so he started to learn the years that the movies were released. I don't know if he knows all. Of, do you know the years of all the movies that were released? I don't know what year the there's a year Come here. Of, of a monster of, of so a Godzilla let's, monster. Well, let's like, start. Let's start. Let's start with yeah. 1954. Which one was 1954? Um, Godzilla raids. But in 1955, it adds Godzilla Raids again. Okay. What's the next one after that? King Kong vs. Godzilla. What in year is that? 1962. Okay. What's the next one after that? Godzilla vs. Mothra. And what year is that? 1964. Wow. Uh, what's the next one? Um, Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster. What year was that one? 1964. Wow. What, which, which ones were happened in the 90s? Like 90... Was there one in 1990? 
Like, was there one? I don't know. You could say no. No. Okay. How about 91? <laughs> yes. Yes, there was? It's what was called it? Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. Oh. 92? Was there one? Mm-hmm. What's that? It's called, uh, Godzilla vs. Mothra. Wow. That's pretty, that's pretty good, bud. I did, how many, how many Godzilla movies are there? I don't know. I don't know either. There's so many. It's Kid of Vegas. Yes. <laughs> so in 2019, it adds Godzilla King of the Monsters. That's right. But this year, it turns Shin Godzilla's skin white. His skin turns white? But that mm -hmm. was, what year is Shin Godzilla? It was 2016, right? No, it's this year. This? Shin Godzilla wasn't this year. I saw that there was this movie in, in called Shin Godzilla 2023. 2023? Oh, are they making another one? They might be making another one. <laughs> huh, I'll well, look, I'll, I would love another Shin Godzilla. It adds Godzilla return. I'll have to see what that is. 2025 is a good few years away, so I don't know if they're planning production out that far, but maybe they are. Um, I'm gonna come down in a minute, okay? Give me a kiss. Mwah, I love you. I know, I know you want some Colossal Titans. I know, I know. Don't worry, we'll talk Saturday. Go on, I'll be down in a minute, okay? All right, I love you. So, if you guys recall, when he started getting really big in geography, he started memorizing all the states. And once he learned all the states, he started learning all the capitals. Once he started, once he le learned all that, he started learning all the countries. Like he knew basically every single country. Um, he started with planets, but you know, you run out of planets pretty quickly. So he learned the planets. Then he learned all of the um, the dwarf planets and everything, Kuiper Belt, all that shit. Uh, and he was like three when he was doing this stuff. Um, and so. Yeah, like he's his he definitely has like a bit of that Rain Man, you know, uh, kind of thing going. Like he doesn't talk about anything that he doesn't want to talk about. He doesn't uh, he memorizes anything he's into. He'll memorize everything about it. If he's obsessed with something like he'll learn everything. Um, he has great pattern. Yeah, great pattern recognition, great memorization. Uh, he's learning how to code right now. Um, and he's doing pretty well with that. Actually, he's going to. He's he's getting he's getting to the point where here in probably another year or two he's gonna surpass what I'm able to actually teach him. You know, it's pretty incredible what he's capable of doing. It's what he's incapable of doing that's gonna be the hurdles going forward. If you know what I'm saying. So yeah, it's 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 really interesting though. Like it, his memory is just insane. Um, and I'm not just saying it because I'm a you know parent and all that stuff. Like this dude like remembers years for movies he's never even seen. It's fucking stupid. Um, he can't, he, he can't, I mean, if, if he was into, that's the thing, he has to be into it, you know, if he's into it, if he was into counting cards or whatever, he probably could memorize a deck. Uh, he can focus steady on what he likes and that's awesome. Yeah, and that's what we do, we've always fed him what, what he likes. If he's into something, like, we try to get him everything we can with that, you know? He replaced all obsolete models. This is almost done, everything. Yes. Have you tried testing his memory for the state's capitals country for so long? He's he's definitely forgotten some of them. Like we haven't talked we haven't talked probably in over a year, you know? So he'll know like maybe some of the closer ones. Like he'll know probably California, Nevada, and maybe some of the West Coast. But uh why are they hot? Why are they complaining about the heat? Oh god, no oxygen here. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna mess with this right now. It's not something it's not on the docket. It's not on the docket. No! Can't mess with that right now. They're running out of oxygen because this thing's cut off. We're gonna fix that in a second. This is empty. Um, patterns are good for coding. Yeah, he he he's definitely when he's um, like the coding is fun because it's the games and everything, uh, and it's learning the new concepts that's hard. You know, like there's new concepts that introduce, and so it's like okay, now I have to teach him the new concepts and and all that. And that's where you know that's where I come in. You know, I I learned basic coding. Uh, I knew. You know, HTML, uh, a little bit of PHP, uh, and um, Java. And so that's what I learned when I was a kid. And, and basic, of course, but I think that's like everybody does that. Uh, and so, you know, I can help him with some stuff, 
I don't even know what kind of code he's learning because it's like some kind of like kid friendly drag and drop block code or something. And I've never used it before, so I have absolutely no idea what it is. Let me see. Let me hook this back up real quick so we can get some water in this bitch. But learning the new concept is tough. The concepts is tough because, you know, he's got to, you'll learn them. Did I do this right? Let me see. This goes up and around. Oh, no, 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 no. But once he learns them, you know, he, for the most part, especially if he keeps practicing, like, he's not going to forget it, you know? And you see another kid with the same skills? Yeah, I would I would like to meet uh, kids who, people who grew up like that, you know, there's definitely going to be a uh, social deficit, you know, there, like he's, he's in speech therapy and stuff because he's a little speech, you know, just behind on speech. Um, the way that uh, you guys probably noticed, or maybe you haven't because you don't really see him talk too much, but the way he talks, he, um, he basically, he quotes things like he knows quotes that work for certain situations, you know, and so he instead of coming up with his own sentences and making his own sentences he rarely does that and instead he quotes things that fit like almost like movie quotes or youtube quotes or whatever like remember when we sat down and we play and we were like we we're streaming together and he did this whole hey guys welcome to blah 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 like he memorized that from somewhere he saw it and so that's that's where he pulled that from but very rarely will he like like holding a conversation is tough for him because that requires like coming up with new combinations of words and things that maybe he hasn't been exposed to so as as he gets older, it'll be a little bit better, but he's in speech therapy right now to help with some of that stuff. Uh, is he learning Scratch? It's a block based. Yeah, he did Scratch. He already finished Scratch. I don't say finished, but he did Scratch Junior and Scratch, and now he's on uh, Tinker. He's doing Tinker right now. Human resource machine type code. Yeah, human resource machine is something I wanted to get him into as well. Like, I hit a brick wall on human resource machine pretty quickly. Um, but I have a feeling that if I start him out on it, he might. I think math might be his biggest blocker there because he hasn't learned some math, you know, concepts. But, uh,. But yeah, did I do this? This is this is this is alleviating pressure. Yeah, this works. So, yeah, what was it? Uh, Zooey Mama. That's right. During Stardew Valley. Let me see. I'm gonna be scared when he starts to quote you. Yeah. So we're, I work for Geek Squad, and we do Geek Squad Academy, where uh, we go to at-risk schools, groups of kids. And we teach them about uh, and taking. Uh, a few years ago, I was teaching and coding to six to seventeen-year-old girls, and the six-year-old group did the best and got better than me in an hour class. Yeah, like kids are like they're sponges, you know? They're just they're, they're just sponges, and they just absorb this stuff. And and him especially, I I truly feel like him above you know your average kid because he's not distracted <laughs> when he's into something. Like that's he's laser focused, you know. But if he but if it's not something he's into, then yeah, he's he can't focus on it at all. I think this works. This looks like it works. We're getting water here. We're getting oxygen here, which means we're getting uh, oxygen we need from there to here. I think we're good for that, with that setup for now. This is not going to happen. Like ever. This setup is not. We got rid of the carbon dioxide, though. Uh, I need to uh, continue studying or else I'll get replaced. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At this rate, like, he's going to, he's going to, he's going to learn a lot very, very quickly. Again, it's just the concepts. Like, there's just gonna be concepts that just I don't know, you know. And I'm not taking I'm not taking Tinker courses. I'm not I'm not learning that code alongside him. I'm, I'm basically if he has a problem, I have to sit there, learn what the what the code, what the, you know what the code new code is that he's learning, and then show him how to to use it. And so far, I've not had any problems, but still, man, the day is coming. And Mr. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got you, Zeno. Zeno. Um. Coding also requires a lot more imagination and abstract thinking than people think. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Like I said, my shit's minimal. You know. Um, oh, it's 507. Oh, shit. Uh, for me, uh, basic to HTML to Java. And then I started managing a message board. So I started learning PHP, my, my SQL, like databases and stuff like that. And so I was more like, at that point, I was kind of already kind of falling out of coding. Um, and so I was just kind of like, I was more just like, I could maintain the code, you know, like I could see code, I could read it and then I could maintain it, you know, based off of what I saw, but I couldn't sit there with like word pad, notepad, and just like start scribbling out some new PHP. Like this is, it's not going to happen. Uh, nudes tomorrow. I'm going to try, I'm going to try to do some news tomorrow. It really depends on what we have. Like right now we've got a couple interesting things for sure. So maybe we'll do some news, but, um, but yeah, we'll see. I, I, I gotta do another day of this. Not maybe not tomorrow though, but man, I can't believe how much, how much we got done at the same time. How much is left to do? 
Oh, hey, look at this. Kind of starting to kind of starting to work a little bit. 49 degree. Keeping it cool. Calling pay system. Oh, what is that? Drop me a link. Drop me a link for that, Zeno. Talk about the game? Machine code is handy if you want to mess with Arduino. Oh yeah, so I, I am learning. I am learning a little bit of. Uh, is that called machine code uh, for Arduino? Like I, with LEDs and everything. Like I've been building my own little uh, little microcontrollers, and so I've been um, I've been learning some of that. So like I could pick up some and like again like more maintenance and like you know, re repurposing code and everything. Like I could read some of it, but I couldn't sit there and write it from scratch. There's no way. And so that's what I'm saying with him. Like it's got, I'm gonna run into a brick wall soon where he's gonna be like, Dad, how do I do this? And I'm gonna look at him and be like, I don't fucking know what this is. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to help him. I'll ping one of you guys to help. Cause I know a lot of you guys are, are, are coders and shit, so. Really? The business model of the, oh God. You pay per match. Oh baby, that's gonna be great. Oh my God, just that alone. Oh my God, what? Oh, that's fresh too, man. That's a good one. Thank you so much. Oh, get out. That's so ridiculous. I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it later though, see. Machine code is the lowest than ASM, than things like C. Just put a mic piece in your ear. How are you teaching the chat graffiti tips? <laughs> it's gonna be like, uh, God, yeah. Just, just, just feed it to me. I don't know what the heck they're thinking. That's crazy. Oh, you know what? Uh, Ion Fury was something I did want to check out. I think I have it, maybe. Let me see. I'm gonna write it down. But here's, here's where we're at. Let's go and wrap this up here. Let's wrap this up for the folks at home. Folks walking on YouTube. So, let me turn this down a little bit. Alright, so here's where we're at with this. Right now, we've done a good job of getting some food stuffs started. We have a little area down here. Like this is not a permanent location for this, um, but it's here and it's working. It's functional. Uh, they like the heat. Maybe we'll move it down here actually, but they like the heat and they're doing work. So we're going to let it keep doing the thing. Um, over here, this is slowly coming around. This actually might, might actually resolve itself. This is stopped because it doesn't have hydrogen. Oh my god. How did this happen? Oh, because it's flooded. Oh man, that's annoying. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. That's really annoying. Are you done with your work? Um, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting off right now, buddy. Is it time to come down? Oh, is it time to come down? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's get this one again. There you go. Um, water, 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 water. That's space, dude. Space exposure should be sucking that right out. <laughs> oh my god. I have stayed, guys. I gotta go. <laughs> so, uh, there it goes. Into space. Into space it goes. But I think that the sleet wheat setup is going to work itself out over time. I truly do. I, th I, th I think over time it's gonna work itself out. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it, this, this base is a cluster. It is such a cluster, but it's working. It's a functional cluster. <laughs> so, so next time we will, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go through and I guess we'll keep on refining. We'll keep refining the food sources. And then uh, I think what we should do is, uh, is probably do some pipe cleanup, do some, uh, we did a great job doing electrical cleanup. We did a fantastic job doing that. Um, then we'll do some pipe cleanup. Maybe it's, I don't think ventilation really needs too much work. Uh, and then, you know, hopefully, you know, here in a couple weeks or so, we could start tackling space again. You know, go through and, and, and renovate all that and just start doing some more, uh, uh, some more space stuff. I'd like to do that, but we got to get the base so that way it's, it's basically managing itself. For the most part, minimal operations, minimal hands-on. We also got to hook up these guys with some better rooms, man. These rooms are just garbage. These rooms are just garbage!